Okay, here we are. I'm um, going to give you a little demo of Guardian of the Humanoids. Uh, coming pretty soon from thinkyhead.com. I've been working with Unity 3D, and as you can see, I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I've just been making what you can see is, uh, if you're familiar with 80s video games, is an homage or a clone. I like to call it an homage to Defender. Uh, this will be playable on tablets and uh, other devices, Android and whatever else Unity 3D supports. Uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, get this uh, to this point. We're at a milestone one, basically, with uh, the game fully working in classic mode. So all the functionality is there, uh, all the things that we need uh, to make things uh, fly and do stuff. I'm using the editorial Wii, it's just me. I'm an indie developer. and. Uh, I've been making games since the 80s, and I've just been recently getting back into it because the kind of stuff I do is mostly web, and it's fun to do uh, dynamic JavaScript stuff, and so I'm having a lot of fun now getting into uh, back into the more dynamic world of animation and uh, really actually finally learning my 3D tools and things. So what you see here is a 2.5D game that's... Uh, 3D objects, but in a orthographic projection, so you can rotate them and stuff, but when you look at them uh, from any angle, they're flat. So that gives you a really nice uh, way of making graphics that can be uh, very interesting. And I haven't gotten into it very much um, with special effects, but I've been uh, having a lot of fun at least getting the models together and making everything work with particle effects as it's supposed to work. So let's take a look at uh, the game itself. I should be starting any second. I've recorded this a little earlier, and I'm just doing the audio now. Oh, wait, settings. Right right now, we only have the, the uh, classic game, so I'm just going to leave that on. The Guardian of the Humanoids full game will be much more exciting. We have Sinister for left-hand controls and dynamic camera, which will follow us and do a little zooming. And uh, as you can see, I've got a, a D-pad control that my thumb is on there. And uh, I'm firing with the other thumb. And, uh, oops. I don't, I don't do too well at starting out here. Uh, I'll probably, I think I do a little better later on after I lose all my ships. <laughs> uh, but first off, you can see I've got a good laser. That was really fun. Particle system basically just emitting lots of particles so that it looks really nice uh, as it fires. And uh, that's really surprisingly easy to do here. Unity 3D. Uh, as you can see, the, the gooey stuff on top of the screen is all nicely laid out, translucent, really works well. Uh, very easy to do that once I got the math figured out of where things should be laid out based on where your thumb is positioned. Uh, all the 3D models that you can see here are meant to look a lot like the originals from Defender, but to be, uh, you know, obviously I can now change the size, go to different angles. Uh, oop. <laughs> Going to uh, different angles allows me to. Oops. Uh, well, you can see there's a there's a big 3D planet there. So um, bringing all this kind of stuff in, you know, with the latest uh, and greatest powerful processors makes it possible to take some original idea like uh, a Defender concept, a flying con a flying and shooting concept, and just expand it. So. This is the classic game, as I mentioned, and the full game is going to feature all, all kinds of other weird things that I think are going to be really fun. Uh, warping in. Should be working, but it might not be at this point. Uh, oops, a little glitch there. Sorry. I think it's, uh, I don't think it's memory. It could be garbage collection that's doing that, but, but I don't know. Uh, so anyway, there we go. See that nice flashing text? That was really easy to do. Fun to do in the movie. Um, the, uh, I'll tell you a little about some of the code stuff this time. Uh, the modeling I do all uh, mostly in starting with uh, OpenSCAD and then some in Blender to colorize it, put textures on it, and make it nice. Some color effects to make them look interesting. Uh, the, uh, the Defender model there, the ship model you can see, is actually, uh, I did that up in SketchUp, and so it's actually a full 3D model. Um, that you can check out, show it from some other angles when I start doing the oops, code demo. I'm actually shooting people here on purpose. I was planning to blow up the whole planet, which is one of the things you can do in this, because it's kind of a cool effect, but I'm not going to get to see it in this video, sorry. Next one, next one. When I do the demo and I do the code, when I talk about the code, when I talk about how I built uh, the um, forever, like, eternal rotating world, it's basically it'll repeat over and over and over forever. 
And uh, you can imagine how that might have been done. Basically two halves that just leapfrog each other. Uh, everything's parented to those two halves, and so it's easy to move things around. You just have to wait till they get to the edge of their half, and then they jump to the other half. Uh, really fun stuff um, that I'll demo when, the, when I get into the scripting part. Uh, I won't get too much into the graphic modeling stuff. I've been using Blender 3D for the, as I mentioned, for the modeling. And that's been really fun, but I want to. Uh, well, there we go. Not get too deeply into that part. I'd rather talk more about Unity and just kind of like high-level concepts, like how do you build a world like this and give it that whole, you know, retro feel. Like that's what I really wanted to capture here too, was that it could be playable really fast and dynamic, like here, just a two-thumb game, uh, and yet still have that full uh, retro like action feel. And this this game actually feels much more dynamic than many games that try to use D-pads in the four-direction concept. Here you can see the thumb actually corresponds up and down to the altitude. You pick an altitude and you move your thumb there, and the ship will fly to that altitude. It actually feels a lot more natural than trying to move in that direction at some speed. Well, that's the end of the game. I, I hope to show a little more, but uh, when I get into the code demo again, that's coming up soon, uh, Unity 3D demo, that'll give you a lot more of an idea. So, there I am on high scores. Alright, let's try a two-player game. Or, not. I'll just show you pause here, I think. There it is. And quit. Alright, thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.